What's up guys? So I just got on the water. I'm at a spot I haven't been to in a little while, but all the rivers I've been fishing lately are very high right now and pretty muddy as well. So I figured I'd lay them off for a little while and try out this spot. Uh, this spot's nice because there's lots of different fish here, lots of different potential, and each day it kind of changes. So it's fun, you know, you never really know what you're going to catch. Last time I was out here carp fishing and I ended up catching my biggest pike ever. So, you know, who knows how it's going to go today. I'm not even sure what I'm going to target, but I have lots of different baits. Uh, I'm going to start off fly fishing and hopefully get most of my fish on the fly. But I have some conventional gear as well, so who knows how it's going to go or what I'm going to catch. But we're going to start off fly fishing and see how it goes. Okay, well I'm going to start off fishing a small little streamer here. I'm not really sure what this will catch. Maybe smallmouth, drum, you know, catfish. But we're going to start off fishing it and see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. There's a gar right here, guys. He just turned for my fly. That would be sweet to get a gar. There we go, guys. Got a gar. Oh my, oh, dang it. These things are so hard to keep on. I'm just throwing a little fly here, really flashy little fly. I had a few fish turn on the jerk bait, and so I decided, since I can see these fish, they're like probably a couple inches below the surface of the water, and they're just sitting there. And so I threw this out, I'm sight fishing for them, and I just had the first fish on that I kept on, but their mouths are so hard, it's gonna be really hard to hook them. But uh, we'll keep trying. There we go, finally, jeez, got a little gar on the fly. It's not really fighting much now. Right in the snout, that is so cool. Stay here, nice. Got a little gar on the fly, right in the snout. Barely grabbed it, that is so cool, first ever. Nice. Check out the teeth on this thing. Razor sharp, bunch of little teeth. That's crazy looking. These guys are prehistoric little fish. There we go, another one on the fly. Awesome guys. Man, he swiped that one. And uh, it's a little bigger of a fish too. Nice. These gar, oh, came off just like that. These gar are pretty aggressive, but it's really hard to hook them just because their maths are so bony. And uh, I've got a hook on here, but I guess I'm not setting the hook hard enough or something. Either way, we're getting into bites, so that's good. There we go. There's a nice one. Come on, where are you? Finally, another gar. Oh, I got him in the fin actually. But either way, another fish on the fly. That is so cool. There we go. Nice, another one, guys. Oh, dang it. There we go. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh. These things are impossible to keep on. There we go, there's one. Nice, finally got gar. Oh my gosh. These things are everywhere, but it is so hard. So hard to keep these things on. And then they don't fight like this guy. Sheesh, I don't know what's going on with this guy. Whoa, now he's gonna splash me and take off there. Got him, second one landed.
finally right there you can see there's barely any like tissue or anything for them to you know for the hook to get stuck into it's just barely like watch yep it came out so easily it was barely hooked in there it's mostly tension that keeps these fish on well another quick look at it real long and thin fish let's get it right back in the water and hopefully catch a big one There we go. Oh my gosh, another one. That one didn't take too long. He swiped at it several times and I finally got him to go for it again. Man, I wish these gar would fight a little more. It seems like I hook him right there and now he's just kind of chilling, just kind of swimming back and forth. Yeah, there you go, just some runs for you. Third gar that I've been able to keep on for more than a couple of seconds. That's probably like my 20th one I've hooked using small tiny little streamers so that way no matter where they grab it they're gonna get the hook hopefully and uh, seems to be doing the trick just kind of stripping it past them whenever you do a fast strip it seems like they always turn and look at it so they want something kind of aggressive it seems like well there we go another gar I think these are all spotted gar just based off the spots everywhere but I mean these guys are so weird okay well see ya There we go. Nice. There we go. Oh my gosh. Got my line all wrapped up here. Finally, finally got another gar on. Nice. This is a mess. They're not pulling any line out, so I have to kind of just like play them out right in front of me, I guess. They're not real fun to catch, but it's just fun catching them, I guess, if that makes any sense. They don't fight hard, but it's just cool to fish for something totally different. Before today, I've never even caught a gar or landed one. I've hooked them but they're very hard to keep on as you guys can see. So today is a pretty good day, I'd say. There we go. Oh man, oh man, oh, and he's off, like usual. Okay, so here's a quick little look at the fly I've been using. It's a tiny little streamer. It used to be a little bigger than this, but with all those teeth those fish have, they've been taking material off each time I hook them, basically. But anyways, uh, I think really any, any small little hook or any small little streamer should work fine. Um, I mean, these fish are really aggressive each time I throw in there. Basically, right when I um, twitch a couple times, they're already turning on it, so. Anything just kind of moving, flashy, looks like a minnow, I think they'll grab. There we go, there we go. There's a bow, er, bowfin, yep, nice bowfin, guys. Uh, nice little gar, sheesh. Oh, he got like tangled up real bad there. Hopefully I don't break him off. Man, he like wrapped, he did so many little twirls right when I hooked him. Now he's all tangled up and he wrapped around like 10 times. Oh, okay, well, quick release. Didn't get to show that one off too much. Come on, come back. There we go, there we go. Finally, sheesh. The, that gark sw swiped at it, and I think he had it in his mouth and he pulled it out right when I set the hook, or pulled back, and uh, then he finally grabbed it again right after I threw back in there. Oh man, this guy's pulling a little more line. He's a little, little bit of a bigger fish. It's hard, I can't tell, like I can't really get a good idea of how big any of these fish are, just because like they're so long and skinny. They might be like a 30 inch fish, but to me it doesn't look that big just because they're like little pencils. That's what I'm looking for more is oh, <laughs> some big runs and jumps like that. That's what makes them a lot more fun. The other ones kind of just like <laughs> give up right when I hook them basically. Come on, don't do no, oh. <laughs> he, I, one of these fish are gonna jump in the boat, I'm telling you. They keep jumping right next to me. And I'm just waiting for one to jump in the boat. There we go. Nice little gar. See ya. Oh, and he cut me off. Dang it. That fish just cut me off because he grabbed the line instead of the fly. And I pulled out and 
broke up, broke it off. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. I've hooked quite a few and only broke off two so far. So let's keep fishing. There we go, there we go. Another gar, nice. Right in front of me. It's so weird when they grab it, it's like, you see them kind of like open their mouth, but you, as you can see, their nose is so long, it's it's really hard for them to grab it, it seems like. Like, <laughs> whoa. If they grabbed it with the back of their mouth, it would be a lot easier to hook them. But lots of times, as you see, he's right, hooked right in the snout, like right in the tip of his nose. Check it out. Whoa, quick release, another one. Well guys, that's going to be a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was lots of fun out there. Uh, certainly did not go how I expected it to, but I kind of like that about this spot. Like I said, you never know what to expect, and that kind of makes it fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I hope to see you guys in my next one.